All right, the reason why I was saying this is a little bit diff <clears throat> a little bit easier than some of the other problems is, you guys remember, here's our unit circle. A unit circle has four given points that we know right off the bat. One comma zero. Right? Right, those are yes. like your four points. That gives us the unit circle. Yes. The other thing we know is that our radius is equal to one, right, of our circle. So now we talked about all these other different points. We talked about when you have a point T and it was at the 45 degree angle. Remember our given point was square root of two over two, comma square root of two over two, right? Those are just a little bit of review, if you can't remember. And then there was two other points. We said one where it was pi over three and then pi over six had that one half and the square root over three as your coordinate points. Well, here I have a point t equals negative three pi over two. And what I need to do is I need to determine where is this point. So the best way I like to do this is I like to look at my denominator and say, um, how, how, how much am I going to have to divide part of my circle into? And since it's two, it's going to divide into half. So let me try to explain what I'm talking about. If here's your initial part, remember we talked about a radian was a radius, like how far could you wrap your radius around? So we said like a radius was like one, two, three, right? And then this part right here is actually 3.14159 which we said pi radians, right? So from here to here, so we call pi, correct? Or pi radians. It takes pi radians to get to that point. Well, remember, I always like to take my denominator. I'm just going to raise this point. You guys know it's there. Well, I'm going to take my denominator and say, instead of using it as pi, I'm going to put it in terms of my denominator. So it has to be 2 pi over 2. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is now I'm going to split my... Um, I'm going to split my circle into halves. If it was four, I'd split it into fourths. But since it's halves, I'm just going to split it in halves. Well, you already know that this circle actually, by using the y uh, axis, is already split into halves. Because what I'm saying, what I'm trying to show you is, if that's two pi over two, that's pi over two. Right? You guys see that? So here's zero, go to pi over two, and that's two pi over two. Now the big distinction, however, though, guys, is look at this is a negative. So that means we actually need to go in that direction. So really, this point, it's kind of weird. Wow. This point is pi over two. This is still two pi over two. And then this point is going to be three pi over two. And this point would be four pi over two. Or what all we also call this two pi. So does everybody see how I just labeled the circle to help us use this point? Does everybody see? Right. So we're going in the negative direction, right? So you're going to go down this way. It says my denominator is splitting my circle into halves. So we, are, we know that the half away around the circle is pi. And if I want to use it in terms of my denominator, I write on the pi divided by 2. But you know, remember to keep it as pi, you do 2 divided by 2 because that still equals pi. So if that's 2 pi over 2, halfway between 2 pi over 2 and 0 is going to be pi over 2. And then this next point would be 3 pi over 2 and 4 pi over 2, which remember when we first learned a unit circle, halfway around is pi, and then the all way around is what we call 2 pi. So is everybody with me kind of? Mm -hmm. So if I say where is negative 3 pi over 2, negative just tells us the direction. So I'm going to go all the way around, and boom. There's my coordinate point. So t is the coordinate point of 0, comma, negative 1. All right? And then the question asks, evaluate for your sine, cosine, and tangent. So I can say a sine. Remember, sine of uh, t is y. Cosine of t equals x. And um, tangent of t equals y over x where x cannot equal 0. So what is my y coordinate for my point for sine? Negative 1. So you can say sine of t, and this problem is negative 1. And then cosine of t for this problem is going to be 0. And then the tangent is going to be, uh, tangent is going to be negative 1, or sorry, 
tangent of t is negative one over zero. And can you divide? No, it doesn't exist. Can you divide any number by zero? No, it doesn't. No, so it's undefined. Okay, and you guys can test these all on your calculator. If you type in sine of negative three pi divided by two, you'll get negative one. If you type in tangent of negative three pi over two, you'll get undefined. All right. So you get error or undefined? Uh, depends on the calculator, but.